Hi guys, my name is Subtutor, I'm the man on Silver Mountain, and welcome back to State of Decay 2. Now, last time, we went out and we got some stuff, and we got some people, and whatever else, but we're still upgrading our storage for the next three minutes. So I think we'll, uh, we'll stick around here for the time being, just to make sure that that's all good. Now, at some point, we do need to go and talk to Raquel, as it's telling us to do in the top corner there. Um, to go and take out our first play cart and all that jazz. But I'm more inclined towards making sure that we've, we've, we're set up fairly well um, rather than uh, straight up just going and doing what the game wants me to do. Um, like Things might be, in my opinion, things will become a little bit better, a little bit easier if we set ourselves up well first and then we get the kind of bonuses and the extra leeway from the missions and the other things that the game gives us as like our core uh, set of activities. So I just want to kind of hang around for a moment. We might be uh, hit with another attack, but then after that I'm considering what to do next because I would like to go and set up more of, uh, of this stuff. Um, more outposts, but to do that we need a, another command center and, and stuff like that. We can go and set up one more place right now, um, but that's kind of all we can do. And so the place that I'm thinking we should go and set up next should be for food, mostly because at the moment, if we go and take a look at our, our base here, we've got meds, we've got ammo, we've got some building supplies, fuel we need, but it's not too bad. But food, even though we've got this, it's it grows a bit of food. Like, um, one food per day. We need more than that for the people that we've got. So having one of these um, provide a food collection twice per day. Oh, we've got, we got zombies. Okay, everybody. We all gathered. Good. Um, but no, it's like I, I have a feeling that um, going and getting either this one down here or that one up there. I'm actually thinking this one down here is maybe better because then we can have like this area be our safe zone that we've secured. Kind of like we did in, in number one where we had our little town that we had secured. So we if we secure this for building supplies, this for food that for ammo then we've got our, our little kind of uh, place here and then beyond that we kind of need to look for fuel and that's the one thing that we don't really seem to have kind of anywhere nearby like we've got certain places we can pick fuel up from but we don't have kind of anywhere that will give us a uh, recurring kind of pick up of fuel so, you know, we're going to have to search a bit further afield for that in the end. So what, I'm want, what I want to do first is, okay, so we'll leave these guys uh, up here because the storage is just upgraded. And we've, we've got the sun starting to come up, which is always nice. So what we'll do is we will just drive this. Drive this down over here. Who's there? Oh, couple of couple of zombies. Zombs. One there, and then we got our, our bloody friend here. Who's that? Someone in a hoodie. Well, you're not in a hoodie no more, right? So we want this building here, which I think this would make a great outpost. Good. I'm glad you think so, because that's exactly what. We're gonna do. The work's done. Our new outpost is ready anytime. Cool. So now we we'll get food from there a couple of times a day, but we actually we do need fuel just to refuel this. So hmm. Now where could we find fuel? That's the the next question, right? Now I'm tempted to upgrade this straight away. Take 16 minutes whilst we're out. So yeah, we'll upgrade that. There are enough people there to protect the base. But we need to go and look for fuel. Now, we've kind of been around a little bit. We're probably going to have to go further afield. 
really. So we could go and try these places down here just to pick up some fuel for our vehicle. Just to pick up some fuel for the truck. Maybe to pick up a kind of repair kit or two as well. But uh, otherwise, we're, like, we, we're going to have to find Way some kind of, in this part of town. petrol station or something like that um, to, to get a good grasp on our requirements. Okay, so we're making lots of friends as we drive out here. That's fine. That just means back over. Or drive straight over. Either way. How did that woman not get taken out? Who's that? Where do you keep coming from? I just... Just want to... Pick up my... my blood plague samples and be on my way. Okay, so we could run into some zombies in here. Hopefully we won't. Again, it would kind of be nice if the, the sure sun quiet in here. came up a little quicker, but hey-ho. Right, let's see what we've got. So, ideally, we want fuel. Well, I guess it's not nothing. Thank you, game. Um, yeah, we want fuel. We want a repair kit for the car, which, you know, there's a tractor in here. We might get that. Excuse me. Trying to loot in here. I didn't ask for your uh, your attention. Thank you very much. Yeah, like there might be a, a repair kit over there somewhere, which would be helpful. Ooh, looky here. Oh, fuel. Excellent. Not exactly what we want, because obviously we want a, a place that we can identify that has a, a repeating amount of fuel for us to take, and a repair kit, and this a water a cooler. And a Okay, so we've got other stuff in here to, to loot. Let's go dump this stuff in the back of the the truck. Just quickly... Um... Oh, we had some fuel in here anyway. Well, it's all very well and good. Right, let's uh, refuel. And then we'll just do the quick repairs on the front just to free up that other space in our inventory as well. And then we'll just go and grab those other things as well. Okay. There's one out in the field. I can't tell if there's another one, like, just on the corner of the house there. I don't think it is, but... Okay. So now we just need to pick up uh, other stuff from here. And then we've got this last one to search. This one's turned out all right. You know, decent amount of fuel. Got to refuel and repair our vehicle. And building materials. Loving it. Right, so now we can take day... Oh, day three. I didn't realise there was a day counter. I must have just ignored it the last time it came up. Okay. So we, we picked up a fair amount of stuff there. It's not exactly what we'd like. You know, we'd like... So like maybe up towards this town there's a, a or down here maybe there's a, a proper kind of gas station or something no I didn't <sighs> excuse me I can't let that one back up Okay, let's let's head back home. Whoops. 
with someone in that building, but we've helped people uh, a fair amount so far, and we're carrying a decent amount of stuff. So I kind of want to get back and drop this stuff off first, and then we'll maybe look at helping some people now that the sun's come up. Yeah, like, we're, we're... Come on. There we go. Oh, I keep press. I keep hit it where it's T to transfer to base. I keep hitting the wrong button. Just because. Just used to dropping stuff off by driving up and, and parking rather than anything else. Right, so what, what what's going on here? Investigate survivor activity in the small office. Now that's going to be dangerous because it's crossed away from the blood heart, play cart thing. But we'll do it. Whether it's another person that we're going to add to our, our enclave or not, I don't know. But probably worth checking out anyway. You know, I... I Whilst there's, there's always the chance of it being... Kind of more of a, a negative situation. When it comes to other survivors, I'd, I'd much prefer a peaceful one that isn't purely negative. You know? One where potentially we can trade, where potentially we can go and recruit people. After we've, uh, after we're in need. Oh god, there's a big guy. And he knows we're here, and he wants to come say hello. So turn that light off. Carefully roll down to here. I'll get out. So I want this. No, that button. Do you know what? That, that survivor's gone and got themselves in a pickle all by themselves. I don't think... I'm not particularly inclined to help them with uh, the big guy there. So what we might do... I'm kind of tempted to head out this way. So if we head down past here... Whoops. Okay, apparently we can't drive onto the railway tracks at, at speed. Okay, there's a, apparently a horde coming through there. That's fine. We'll just bypass all of them for the time being. Got the play card there. So what have we, what have we got? This way, is that a construction yard? No, it's a train bridge. Another vehicle there that looks a little beaten up. There's still that other jeep back um, back where we were. Uh, that's a convenience store, but that might be a place we can collect petrol from because it's just off the road there. Get rid of these guys just because they are probably going to try and cause us some problems if we uh, try and climb up there. Let's pull up here for the time being. group of them over there but I'm sure we'll be fine let's just get up here and take a look at what we can see because this here is where like we've, we've mostly been in kind of a, an enclosed valley uh, up until this point and now we've got that has the potential to be a useful outpost farmhouse storage shed Uh, a 
Another plague heart. Of course it had to be. Okay. Nothing more to see here. Oh wow, that's That's all we can see from here. Hmm. Okay, that's not Let's head this way cuz this is on the edge of town, so we might be able to see more. Please send help. Survivor in trouble. Like, we, again, being helpful. Sure, no, get down. Being helpful sounds nice. Is something we. Oh, God. I'm. Okay, in the last game. It was pretty easy to to hop onto a uh, onto a ladder and not fly off, kind of falling to your death. In this game, the, the tagging onto the ladder seems to be a far more difficult proposition for characters to perform, which is a little frustrating. his helmet. Right. Let's take this path this way. Is this a school or... It seems to have a pretty big compound, like... Is it a factory? What is it? A factory. Okay. wonder if we can... Can we take this place over? No, seemingly not. Okay. Well, let's see. What, what can we see? A cell tower. Okay, so there's this big-ass bridge in the way that we can't see past. That's unfortunate. Corral, got a ranch house. Yeah, do it. And that's that's all we can see from here, apparently. Well then. Alright, let's let's no. We've already fallen off once. Only one of those left. Don't wanna get on the ladder. There we go. Like I know I I've, I've fallen off the very top of one of these before. And I know we can survive the fall. That doesn't mean that I want to have the fall in the first place. Okay, so to into town, we back that. Is there actually a. Okay, so we've got a water tower there that we can head to. Because I kind of want to see what's in... Because this seems to be, like, the biggest town in the middle of the map. Yeah? So I want to see kind of what's in there. Because that's probably where the bulk of the resources are. You know, we don't want to... End up having to run in there when we're running low on, on resources and supplies and things without any idea of what we're actually likely to to get. Way too many plague zombies in this part of town. There are a lot of plague zombies here. You are correct. That's a bloater. I saw you that time. That you've got to tell me something. If you do, that's all very well and good, but I'll come find you in a bit. 
Did any of them drop stuff? It doesn't look. Ah! Oh no. Okay. Okay, so our vehicle started to take a bit of damage again, which is, you know, unfortunate. Right. But we pull out onto this road up there around that corner. Got it. That was a feral, wasn't it? So, you know, they used to do a lot more to try and get out of the way of vehicles. Uh, they, they don't seem to do that anymore. It tends to be a... We're just going to charge and if you run into us, then, you know, we tried. Okay. So... Tad, there it is. Cool. Okay, now we're in potentially uh, slight difficulty with our, our steaming vehicle there. We've got Z infestations all around. Trouble's brewing. Infestation? Where have you spotted an infestation? I mean, I'm sure we'll see from the top. In fact, we could probably just look at the map. Where? Oh, is that there? There and there. Okay, right. So we need to go and take out an infestation sooner rather than later. But, okay, hold on. First thing is first. So we've got this over here. We've got, right, what we got? Military roadblock. Cool, if the engine is still good, that'd be a great set of wheels play cart that we drove past garage doctor's house Those clinic might roll if we give them a try. another car another play cart horde set of buildings what else we got okay so that's the police department Like, I'm hoping that, that after we've taken a look at all of this, it gives us a, uh... Ah! Petrol okay. station. Nothing more to see here. Okay, so there's seemingly one... Oh, this, this, this would be painful if we, uh... There we go. We did it. It's fine. Okay. We're somewhat wrecked, but we're fine. Just need to head home. Which way's home? We just missed our turning. Okay. It's a shame we don't have an auto workshop yet. Because if we had an auto workshop already, then we'd be, um, our brother would, uh, quick, would be able to sort the car out for us, which, you know, would be nice. Yeah, so we need to, to get some stuff to repair our truck here. We need some more fuel. But then on top of that, we need to take out at least a couple of those infestations. Which probably be the one the, the ones that would be better to do would be the ones that are kind of up next to to our uh, house anyway. 
you know, we might take out some others. You better get this baby to the shop. Yeah, I know. I'm well aware. But, uh, we're nearly home. There we go. Right. Okay. Now, I can't remember if we had another vehicle repair kit in our supply cache. So, let's go have a quick look. We do. Great. Don't think we had any more fuel, though, did we? No, seemingly not. Okay, well, we can at least go and repair the vehicle that we just beat the shit out of. Um, I'll say this. I like how sturdy, comparatively sturdy, sturdy the, vid uh, the videos, the vehicles are um, in this game compared to the first one. Because the first one, at times, they felt really paper thin. You know, you'd slam through a whole load of zombies just once or twice. And, um, like, they'd be steaming. They'd be kind of chugging along. Hey, how you living? It's, well, shut up quick. Go and fix the car or do something useful. Um, right, fuck. We need to take out this one over here and that one over there. That might have some fuel in. And there may even be fuel in one of these two as well. But let's let's take this one out first. And let in fact let's swap to who else have we got who's useful? You've not done anything yet. And you could you could do with some Ah, no. We don't want to do that because you're gonna to want to start trading stuff. How badly hurt are you? Ah, you're still pretty poor off because she was huffing gas from last time. Do you know what? How much? Yeah, you. I, I think you're... Am I... Stuck? No, she was just taking her time to get through her animation. That's fine. Um, yeah, we need to go and sort out what we need to sort out in terms of those infestations but actually we've been going for about half hour now so what i'm thinking is we will um oh yeah she had a meat cleaver um but what i'm thinking guys is that we will pause it here we'll call it for the moment and i'll come back and take care of those infestations next time so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you in the video tomorrow take care Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, please drop us a like, share this video, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care.